Alright, hello and welcome back. This may be the last episode. I'm not sure, like I said before, I don't fully remember this episode. So, it could be near the end, it may not be. So, let's see. Let's keep going. I also wanted to try and keep not all the heavy shit in the last episode. Gotta keep some of the heavy shit for this one. So, yeah. It's good to see at least one bird still alive. But then some flew around before. Why, cat? Oh, oh, fucking god! <laughs> he has no idea what's going on. Shouldn't have let her come out here by herself. She couldn't. She, 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 she just. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. So do I actually do it, or does it happen in the cutscene? Oh, goddammit, I actually have to do it. He's already broken. We don't need to break something that's already done. This might be a very short episode. And I hope it's not. You want to talk? Uh-uh. You, uh, understand what happened? Yes. What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. You took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. If y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. I'm not a barber. It ain't got to be styled, Jesus. <laughs> you got to run around with a mop that's going to act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. 
and then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work, and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. I have no idea if anything bad happens if you don't cut her hair. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's you still don't have to tell her she's going to end up a zombie. I don't need to talk to him anymore. Let's talk to Kenny. Let's get that map. Can you just leave me alone? Oh, maybe should have talked to him first. up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Can I know it now? Mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. God damn it. Talk to him more. Hey. What map? Yeah. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be uh, okay with you. So forget. Okay. Damn it, Ken, I want that fucking map. It's full of maps and documents. Yeah, I know. I want the map. Get out of here. Oh, fuck you then. I'll come back later. God damn it. Let's talk to Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left? Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah. I guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See ya. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's all we're gonna say. The door to the box car. God damn it! I didn't want to click on that. I hope we're not on this train much longer. Do, 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 do. Let's go get scissors first before we talk to Clementine. There we go. They look clean enough. Let's take that bottle of whiskey. Maybe we can give that to Kenny. That could be a very bad idea. <laughs> that could be a very bad idea. I did. He had some. Uh, he explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Let's start with the hair. We'll figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. Oh, come on, I can't start with the hair. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless... Oh, you didn't have to chamber a bullet. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. 
and then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Good information right there. Oh, she's actually going to shoot the bottle. All right. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly, and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Don't put that gun under your arm like that. Yeah, you do. Hmm. Well, she shot right, so okay. aim left. A little bit more to the left. Steady now. Almost got it. Yeah, nailed it. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. She was only a little bit to the left, so oh, I mean to the right. Fuck. Am I supposed to aim her if I don't know where she's aiming? Alright, now she needs to aim higher. What? No, she doesn't need to aim up, left or right. Close. Now keep it steady. Aim higher. A little higher. Now! Nice. It's all about that first shot and then zoning it in. Why do I feel like she's going to shoot left this time? She's going to go in a full freaking circle. Oh, nailed it. it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See, you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. -uh. Now let's deal with the hair. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. <laughs> Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Off with the hair! Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. <laughs> so you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you <coughs> told me. <laughs> me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. But there's a difference between people and undead. No, it's different. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Yeah, that's why it's different. Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with some. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. Couldn't have put it into a ponytail to begin with? <laughs> dumb. <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Could have just made it a ponytail to begin with. I really don't know if it comes back to bite you in the ass. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. 
What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll don't know. Mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. Well, he's been living in a box for a while. And I don't mean that because he's homeless. I mean, he's literally been living in a boxcar. Train. Compartment. Whatever. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I don't think it is. Onward and upward. Literally, because we went up a bit. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Seriously? Yeah. We can't even give him a little bit of booze? Bah. Whatever. Come on. Hey, I'll trade you those maps for booze. God damn it. Can I seriously not give him the booze? Fuck me. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Nah. I'm fine. Yeah. Kenny needs it though. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Okay, maybe now I can tell Kenny to get some booze, and I can get that map. Check wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. And away he goes. Thank fucking God. Maps. All right, let's go back to talk to them. Thanks. Oh, really? That was unexpected. Man, did he drink the whole thing? There was a map of Savannah in the cab. That's where I will look. I'll talk it over with Clementine. Make sure she's got a sense of things by the time we arrive. Good. Do, 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 do. Be safe up here. You betcha. And away we go. Must go faster. Why can't I run? Or at least fastly walk. Like, come on. It takes us from down there all the way up to here. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. What friend? Didn't one of them die at the farm or something? What happened to that other one? One got his leg cut off. Then there was him. I don't remember what happened to the other one. My hands hurt and my ears have noise in them. Like... You'll get used to it. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or... Totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. 
good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Is Savannah a town or a state? Or a region? I care about finding them. Man, should I tell her that? They're Fuck. Dead. You have to move on. They're not dead. Damn. Do you want them to be? <laughs> no, I don't want them to be. Following through with the boat, but I'll look for your parents first. Shit. <laughs> Damn it, I shouldn't have done that. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna there walk will be. Boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. And we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and... Maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M M something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. So we'll head there. Yes. You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Man, it's like she totally breezed past it. Feel. She just seems to have totally ignored it, which is weird. And you're a good little chef. Very weird. I guess we should see how I don't like that. Well, oh, that's not good. What? Oh, fuck. Alright, fuck it. The next episode will be a short one. Most of the episodes have been roughly 20 plus minutes. This one will probably be more like 10, 15. Maybe a little bit less. So, fuck it. Hope you enjoyed this episode.